but it's chest and chill, man. I don't gotta go crazy on this, but I'm gonna anyway. There's something about it. You just wake up and you know it's chest day and you know you're happy about it. Before I get into pressing, I usually do a little pre-exhaustion with cables. Just feel the chest move. So I just take my time with this. Sometimes I go do some fast reps. Just feel it out. Like that way you prime yourself for the heavy pressing. So I'm gonna do a couple sets of this paired with some arm swings. Feeling some blood flow. Feeling some good blood flow. This place is packed. Packed, man. So that feels good. Slight incline to start. Smith machine is hard. Smith machine. Smith machine's supposed to make it easy. Nobody understands how hard the Smith machine is. It's got a resistance. I don't know. Comment below if you think Smith machine is easier. That would be ridiculous though. I would call you a crazy person. All right, you know, still sort of warming up. Not gonna go to failure or anything. Probably six out of 10 on the effort scale. Twenty-five percent. So I guess technically we're lifting like 185 here, but I don't know because the Smith machine resistance. I don't know how much the Smith machine weighs. All right, I'm going back in for number two. We're gonna try to aim for like seven out of ten effort here, maybe like eight out of ten. That's heavy. That's feeling. Uh, that's feeling heavier than I anticipated it to feel today, but. I'm gonna go for one more set. I'm gonna leave the weight here. If you want to live past 40 without pain, don't do one rep maxes. Optimal to build muscle anywhere from like six to 15 reps. And uh, just, just train hard within those rep ranges and you'll be fine. Most muscle is built in the last like five reps or so. All right, top set. We're giving it the beans, full Goya can of beans on this one. I used to exclusively bench wide because I was like, wide is good targets your chest better. Not necessarily true. Just uh, experiment. Try your own stuff. See what works best for you. It happens, man. Five and a half reps, man. That's what you get for being in a calorie deficit. Got some incline dumbbell press next to get going on this. I'm not feeling super strong. So I'm gonna grab the 70s and try to hit eight. We'll see. Oh yeah. I feel so much more at home here with the dumbbells. My uh, natural complexion. complexion, nice and red. At least it's not sunburn, man. It's chest and chill, man. That's a great point. I don't gotta go crazy on this, but I'm gonna anyway, because that's what it's gonna take to build some more muscle. All right, set two of three. breathing like a dog. I think I can get another good top set, but I'm gonna move down five pounds. You'll notice as soon as you drop down five pounds, your mind's like, this is easy. I got this, no problem. Hey. It's coming off. I got a little bit of a, yeah, got a bit of yeah, I got a little bit of pump going there. It's, uh, it's looking pretty good. Here we go. Top set. I'm going all out. If I don't get 10, you can dislike the video. And now you have to like the video. All right, I'm done with this. 
Maybe some triceps, I'm thinking of hitting some triceps tonight. Weird looking torture device type of thing. Sometimes you just gotta experiment with the machines that you don't know what they do. Bang out a little triceps here. It's not my favorite machine ever, but it puts your triceps in such a good stretched position. See how slow and controlled I'm going? I mean. Most people would bang it out like that and they'd sc struggle to get it all the way down and then they just let go of the machine. But in reality, so much growth is coming from when you bang out that last rep on the concentric and then on the eccentric, you fight it as much as possible all the way up, super slow, all the way up. That is when you reach absolute maximum muscular fatigue and uh, the most growth is gonna come from that. I'm gonna hit some tricep rope press downs right now. Something I like to do, attach two ropes. What that's gonna do is allow me to get a good squeeze all the way next to my body. Cause if I have it on one rope, I feel like too tight in here. I don't want it to be tight. I want a nice squeeze all the way back. That's how you get that good contraction. I'm dropping it down, that's too heavy. Partials, man. <sighs> yeah, partials, man. You gotta throw some partials in there. Keep it interesting, it's like a old stale marriage you you gotta throw in some new stuff otherwise your muscles aren't gonna grow and otherwise you're not gonna stay happy you know what i mean find a middle ground here try to bang out a good set and then try to do a drop set here oh i'm slowing down running out of diesel fuel okay done there gonna drop it come up here Bang these out. Still with control. Oh, running on fumes. Last couple reps. Partials. Save the marriage. Save the marriage. Look at that. That's noodleacious. All right, decided to do two sets of side laterals. Sprinkle them in. These are one of those exercises. You just sprinkle into any workout. Side delt, super small. Keep the form strict. That gets dicey real quick, man. Start with fives even, start with your arm weight, body weight, nothing. Just feel out that muscle. I would suggest starting as light as possible. Get the connection with your shoulders. And then, and only then, can you start moving up in weight. Second set done, I'm done with these. Feeling like freaking salamis on a meat block. Moving on to some flies. I'm doing these sort of just middle section right now. Really want to straighten the arms and squeeze as much as possible. If you're not squeezing that breast tissue together, you're not getting breast tissue. Ah. All right, I can go up and wait. I'm going up and wait. Hello. <sighs> Last set. My name is 
Nerdy McCable Fly. I'm here to show you how to freaking. Oh, it's nice and light now. I dropped the weight. Gonna get 15. I'm doing a burnout set of dips. I'm gonna superset it with push-ups and I'm gonna get that dingus out of here, all right? I'm bad at dips. I'm, I'm not at the optimal body weight for, for calisthenics. That's all I got. It was like nine dips. My juice tank is running low. Final send off. <clears throat> Pump out set of push ups. I usually finish my uh, chest days with just a burnout set. Just go until you can't. Get the pump rolling. I'm already failing. That's how you know it was good if you only get a few reps. Oh, and there it is. I'm done. One more. One more. If I can get five more right now, you have to like the video and share it with someone that you love deeply. Ready? Five, that's it, subscribe. Subscribe. Okay, so we're looking at a, we're looking at a good solid pump here, I would say. I'm like, friggin', you know? It's like a what's up, good pump, you could say. I mean, that's a, that's a, it's a flop of doodle right there. That'll conclude chest and chill. Hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Little workout smorgasbord thrown in there for all you healthy chaps. Subscribe.